Alright so boys, welcome back to another video. Guys, I want to cover different investments, the new Evo that has officially just came out. It looks really, really good. Some different investments, how I'm making between 50 to 100,000 coins a day. Without really doing anything, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step guide. And of course, guys, I'm going to be talking about the expected content coming up in the following week. Drop a like, do subscribe, you do help my channel grow and let's get in the video. Alright so boys I want to show you some of the investments we literally just made today in my discord. If we go to the investment channel you can boys basically see the stuff that gets posting in the discord. So you can see Lucky one of my traders basically posted the following thing. We have the Icon SPC refresh tonight plus tomorrow we have a new casino SPC. These are very again these cards are up in price but they can push higher tonight. So he said 87s on console aim under 20,000 coins, 87s on PC, under 16,000 coins, 20 to 30 cards max, do not spend all your coins on this investment. You can see, if we do go on footbin, 87s right now are 22,000 coins, again, pushing 23k, really nice and simple investment right there from Lucky. If we scroll up, you can see I posted 87 informs yesterday, and you can see he said 85s console under 5.8, 85s on PC, under 5k and you can see right now if we're going for bin 85s right now are pushing 7.5k boys again really really nice and again easy investments we do make you can see i said 84s back with 84s zero risk investment 1.2k is zero risk you can be going all in if we're going for bin you can see right now if my again computer decides to load right here boys 84s are basically one 0.6k already so again really really nice profit on in general in fodder and if we go to the again the sell card channel you can see some flips we did make yesterday with team of the year panic first again first card you can see SCN 1.24 to 1 point basically 4 million coins we have Bonmati 4.1 to 4.6 mil Frimpong 3.1 to basically 3 0.5 million coins we have again LAM really really solid on LAM you can see people made a lot of coins on LAM I said around 1.05 is fine this card ended up going to 1.25 million coins really really solid profit on LAM Ruben Diaz 3.4 to 3.9 million coins we have again the right back from Barcelona 1.6 to 1.85 Sophia Smith 2.1 to 2. 2. 0.6 million coins and boys this is the premium trade in discord you join you look at the investments low budget fodder and you buy the cards i suggest or lucky suggest as again sometimes we do get really really early leaks and we do benefit like 85s and 87s you can see some of the feedback in a discord someone joined with 500k he turned it into 3 million again in a month so again this guy is quitting the game but he left a really really solid review so i do appreciate that if you're still watching the video you can see people are basically giving feedback how many coins they've made and if the service again is worth it this guy said thank you for the last two months i've made 1.2 million coins again the time zone is really difficult but i've still managed to make 1.2 million coins again mr oliver started with not again started with um, 240k and he's pushing 900,000 coins started with 10k he's again this guy's on 350 and again boys you can see the list goes on and on and on if you're interested boys the link is down in the comments all you have to do click the link join up and of course you get my investments early leaks and whenever I make an investment, it does get posting in the premium trading Discord. Stop buying the packs in the store, guys. It's £10 a month. If you're not happy with the service, you can cancel your subscription at any single time. Let's get back to the video. All right, so let's talk about content. What actually came out today? So if we go on Twitter really, really quickly, and you're going to see the exact content that we did get. So Twitter, well, again, people call it X. I still call it Twitter. It's really not, not much difference. So if we go on Fubin, not Fubin, full scoreboard right here, you're going to see the content we did get today. So we got the following again. We did get a new evolution. I want to talk about that. Really, really solid. I do think a lot of people will be completing that evolution. So guys, we got... An 85 plus player pick with an 84 rated team requirement. Of course, that will help the 84 rated investment. I told you boys a few days ago. And of course, we did get a new Evo. You can see Brolin is the main card. But if we go on Fubin and we go to a popular page, you're going to find a lot of new evolutions that are really, really solid. So the first card I want to show you boys, you can see Brolin right now. This card upgraded looks exactly like this. So he's got... 90 pace, 92 shooting, 85 passing, 94 dribbling, and 70 
to defending. That is the first, again, Evo that looks really, really solid. And we do have, of course, Keen. Keen looks really, really good as well. I'm kind of tempted to buy one just to, again, do this card. You can see 90 pace, 92 shooting, 78 passing again, not really good. But set, again, 92 dribbling and 79 physical. Keen is probably my favorite at the moment. And we do have... Him as well for line is another really good card you can see this card right here 91 rated with 89 shooting uh no 89 pace 92 shooting 85 dribbling and 75 defending and the last card i want to show you boys has to be for line this card again looks really really solid so you can see boys his spc was 550 thousand coins and this new evo is actually rated higher than the spc again this card looks really really good 89 pace, 94 shooting, 81 passing, 89 dribbling, and of course, 79 defending. Guys, again, all of these cards are basically max price extinct. So if you do want to buy them, you probably have to snipe against bots, which would be really, really difficult. But again, they do look really, really solid. I want to show you boys the Discord. I did actually make a call last night. If I find the low budget section, where is it? The rash investments. Let me find it really, really quickly. So... Unless I can't see it right here, rash investment, right here, so you can see, I said yesterday around, it was 9 o'clock, you can see right here, I said, under 31k for Brolin, maybe he goes max price, new Evo leak, and you can see this card, again, ended up going max price, and I did sell them at 34 each, as I do not want to get banned, so again, I made really, really nice profit on Brolin, so guys, let's talk about fodder, what can you still buy, can you still do some investments, what is, again, a nice way to make coins right now, first of all, I want to say, Make sure you're buying any 82 rated gold commons between 300, 350, even 400 on open bid. You can see Fubin says these cards are around 450 coins. So basically, guys, just clop stock any 82s at 400 to 450 coins. Really, really low risk. These cards always fluctuate with a decent SPC. They move to 600, 650, 700. So again, 82s at 400 coins. I really like this as a long term zero risk investment so 84s if your boys did not buy a few days ago i told you 1.2 zero risk 1.3 you can still pay they're basically up 400 coins again can you still buy these cards honestly i wouldn't really mind if you're still paying 1.4 to 1.5 i know they're up in price but again the supply this week is just not there no one is opening packs and if we get another team requirement 84 these can maybe push to two thousand coins so if you're late if you did not invest i don't think 84s at 1.4 to 1.5 is a bad price i'm going to be showing you boys later in the video some again mass bidding filters 85s you saw again one of my traders suggested is at 5.8 they're basically 7.5 really really expensive i will not really be paying again 7.5 unless we get some early leaks and again of course then they will rise and could be a good investment 87s of course 22k basically up 2.5k since earlier should you still be buying these cards i have no leaks no one has leaks about tomorrow's casino spc if we do of course it will get posting on twitter get posted on twitter and most likely in discords but so far i have no again knowledge of what we should be getting so again i will not really touch any fodder apart from 84s unless you get leaks for example like an 87 team requirement then obviously you go and buy 87s or maybe like an 85 player required. Then of course you go and buy 85. So guys, the only thing you should be doing right now, low budget, buy 82s, 400 to 450, lazy sell, 650 to 700, that is low budget. Up again, medium budget, 84s, 1.4 to 1.5. Again, if you're late, I don't think that price is bad. Of course, it's not as good as 1.2 as I was paying a few days ago, but again, up 200 coins is not really a big issue. 88s, I will not touch. 89s, definitely not. And 90s, again, definitely not. So, I want to cover, honorable mentions, I suggested these cards as investments a few days ago, and a few of you have bought, so I want to cover what you should be doing with your investment. So, Harry Kane, I told you guys, I really, really like this investment. I said 115 on console. Harry Kane is up 10,000 coins. I said 120 on PC. Harry Kane is actually 135 on PC. That is a footbin mistake. If I check the sell history, you can see Harry Kane has been selling at 135 really, really often. So again, Kane is up 15K on PC, around 10K on console. Make sure you're lazy listing around 130 console, around 140 PC. 
you should be getting sales there. Trent, again, slowly rising, nothing really special so far. He was, I think, 116 earlier, so he's, again, down a little bit. Should you worry? 100 100% no. These cars are not in packs, you can see. He was 114. Fubin doesn't actually show it, but you can see right here. Actually, wow, he was close to 115. So, again, Trent is down a little bit. You, sh you shouldn't really worry. I sold all of mine. I had around 5 for 110, and I sold all of them to 120 to lazy buys of course so again make sure you're lazy selling trend 120 pc around 110 you should get sales right there silver is up in price i told you boys to be buying this card around 90 well between between 88 to 90k this card is already up 8,000 coins so again make sure you're lazy selling around 105 to 110 is fine pc around 105 to 110 is also fine so the investments right now again edison is basically the same price you shouldn't really worry again there's these cards are just not in packs they're not going to drop unless we get like some leaks that we're going to get them back in packs you shouldn't really worry edison yesterday touched close to 65k Fubin doesn't show it so again make sure you're lazy listing edison around 67 to 68 you should be getting at least one sell an hour Malverde is down a little bit. This card peaked at 600 and I think it was 60k. If we look at the graph, we'll go to Thursday. You can see Malverde was 680,000 coins, peaked at 680. Then, of course, the market crash came. You can see from 680, boom, all the way to 620. So, again, if you do want one card for your team, I don't think 620 for Valverde is a bad price. Maybe he rebounds again as team of the year cards have rebounded so guys that is again honorable mentions covered if you do have any investments make sure you're lazy listing trent i had them at 110 sold them all at 120 i did buy them with a shadow so of course so basically lazy sells better silver i have two left at one uh bull one and 90 and one and 91 so again i'm basically making 10,000 coins on silver hurricane again i lazy sold all of mine with a hunter at 130k so you're basically making quick and easy around 5k profit right now on Kane. so again just make sure you're lazy selling these cards let me cover team of the weeks can you buy some or maybe are they going to be a bad investment all right so boys if i do switch my screen first of all you're going to see 37 items sold you know exactly what cards i am lazy selling i showed you boys i think it was yesterday's video basically 84 so if i click a i do think i got a few more sales the following uh, the previous hour so boom if click a how many sales do I get? Again, you can see the coins went up a little, a little bit more. So, I am um, lazy selling 84s at 1.7. I did buy every single one at 1.2. So, I'm basically making around 300 to 400 coins profit per card, which is decent. You can see I still have around maybe 30, maybe under 30 cards left to sell, which is decent. I had 100 and I sold around 70 already. So, and you can see as well my, my Brolin. I did buy these at 30,000 coins yesterday and I sold at 34. So guys, let me show you informs. I'm really, really interested in informs. Again, I wasn't a fan for the, uh, the previous week as again, content from EA wasn't really good and I didn't really see any opportunities to make them rise. But right now informs, you can see they're slowly coming back down in price. So if you see informs tonight under 18,000 coins, I don't think this is a bad investment. So you're gonna be asking me two questions. Can I go all in on informs? When are they going to rise? First of all, all in, I don't think it's worth it. All I'm saying is maybe it's worth buying 10 to 40 cards. If you're in a high budget, low budget, I'll probably be avoiding this. High budget, 10 to 40 cards on the transfer list under 18,000 coins. And of course, tomorrow is, you know what day is, Sunday, which equals Sunday is a casino S. B, C day, which means you can see I just picked up an 85 rated inform for again 18,000 coins, really, really solid. Now, Sunday Casino SBC day, we have no requirement just yet, but if we see a again team of the week requirement with like maybe an icon player pick, hero player pick, these cards I do think can rise maybe one to four thousand coins depending on the requirement and depending on what casino sbc we do get so boys all i'm going to be doing is buying a few maybe five to ten cards you can see again i buy for 18 i'm going to lazy list 20,501 card and the next card i'm probably going to go for 21k all i'm doing is buying informs and lazy selling until content tomorrow and of course 45 minutes before content i will be again lazy selling these cards and i do think 
85 rated for 18k is really really solid i'm gonna go for 20k on this one hopefully i get a sale i go back on the market for the cards that sell and i re-buy more cards also guys make sure you're aiming for high rated informers don't go for 82s 83s 84s try to aim the higher the rating the better of course you have a like a really i call this like a safety margin if you buy an inform that is 86 rated compared to an inform that is 83 rated that 83 rated inform will drop much further than the 86 rated inform so again try to aim 85s 86s 87s and that will give you a nice and easy profit margin or not profit margin a safety margin that again these cards won't drop as much as you do with an 83 rated inform so boys that is informs covered if you do want to pick up a few do what i'm doing buy five buy ten and make sure you are lazy listing your informs for basically around two to three thousand coins above what you paid i paid 18 and you can see i'm selling around 20 to 21 thousand coins and to end the video off guys i want to show you an 84 rated mass bidding filter as some of you are late to the investment so i want to show you what you can be doing right now so i think 1.2 1.3 9.9 10k should be fine you should get 84s on this filter if not we have to readjust this. So right now you can see Gabriel 1.3. You want to bid 1.4. Of course, there's going to be a few people on this filter. So make sure you scroll a few pages until you find some again open bids. If this filter is not good, whenever you boys are seeing this video, again just readjust it to 1314, and that should give you again. You can see more 84s on open bids. The max I would be paying is 1.4. If you again, if you're, if you're struggling, 1.5 is the max. But again, guys, I was buying these literally. Two days ago at 1.2 so you're basically paying really really high compared to what we did buy a few days ago boys that is basically everything covered right now team of the weeks evo leaks and of course some investments 84s and if we do get some leaks of course we will post in a discord really really early on and we will be selling those at content drop a like do subscribe and of course guys i will see you tomorrow with another video